Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 69 on the Manicraft server with Black Dog Z. First thing I'm going to say is you're going to have to excuse the cough you might hear. I'm going to try to mute it, but I do have a cold and it is kind of affecting me. But we're going to push through it. We're going to continue with this episode because I've got some great stuff to show you guys. Yes, this is another bee episode. So if you like bees, yay! If you don't like bees, this might actually make it better for you. Um, I'm not a huge fan of bees. You'll see me off and on breeding bees and things like that. I don't want to do it that way. I want to take the easy way out. Now the one thing this is going to let me do is do bees the way I want to do bees. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a genetic machine. Now the genetic machine of course uses six iron ingots, a piece of lapis, an apiarist machine which you've seen me build before and a basic circuit board which if you remember in a previous episode I built a whole ton of these so that I wouldn't really have to worry about it. So we now have our genetic machine but we're not going to stop there. We don't want a genetic machine. We want whatever this is going to make. So if we put our genetic machine in the middle we get a splicer. Now a splicer is a very neat thing. It'll actually take genes from a bee and make a serum. So we're going to go ahead and take the splicer and now we have the splicer. Now there is one other thing that we're going to need in order to start doing this. We're going to need empty serum vials. So if we just grab as many as we can of those, six will do for now I think. We'll have to make some more but that shouldn't be an issue. Oh we just need glass panes. Why don't we just go ahead and make more glass panes. It's not too terribly difficult. Look at that. And then we can make some more. uses a lot of glass panes but when you think about it that's not too too bad glass is easy to get alright so there's 20 so we'll, st we'll stop at 20 for now now I eventually want to get serum vials for literally every single possibility of a bee that I can do and every single different ability those bees have but only the good ones nobody wants the bad abilities let's go upstairs and set this up now I finally solved the power issue way up there and basically what I've done is I've stuck an energy tesseract up there and I hooked it up to my base so now my base power can run up here now there is a limited amount I have it set so that it can only put out well it can put out as much as a hundred MJ per tick but this system up here is only putting out 10 so it's only accepting 10 so that's the nice part there you'll see 10 now later on we are gonna need more but this will make for a good start so now our splicer, that's the first thing we need. Now I do believe the splicer requires genetic material, so we'll go ahead and we'll put it here. We'll see that the genetic material hooked right up. And there you go, it filled right up with the liquid DNA. That's exactly what we want to see. Now I should have a couple of redstone energy conduits here. We're actually just going to pre-run these. Just because we know we're going to need them later. And there we go, so we now have a splicer. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take some empty serum vials. I don't know where they go. Huh. This isn't the one I wanted. Was it? I don't know. I thought we put empty serum vials in here. I don't know. Let's grab a B and find out. We're going to grab an Imperial Drone. No templates. Alright, so the splicer is not the machine we are wanting. Let's go ahead and take this down. I know it wastes a little bit of our liquid DNA, but I'm hoping that we can figure out which one it was that we needed, actually. I thought it was the splicer, so apparently not. So we'll take a look. We will need the splicer at some point, because we do want to use all of these machines. And that is a third level machine, the splicer. I'm not quite sure what it does, so we'll have to look that up. For now, we'll just take the splicer, we'll leave it in our inventory, because we'll probably be able to use it later. And let's take a look at the other ones that are available. So, and we already have the acclimatizer. Um, we'll have to find them here, give me a moment. Oh, I think I passed them. 
swear to you, I saw them. Oh, here they go. So we've got a couple of different machines. We've got the acclimatizer, the APRS data bank. We have both of those. An indexer, which we have. A genetic machine, a gene pool, a sequencer, and a splicer. Um, now we have the gene pool. I wonder if it's the sequencer, maybe? I don't know. We will need a sequencer, so why don't we go ahead and build this? So the first thing we need to do is we take our uh, bronze, which we have some, put them around in a circle, and we build a lovely sturdy casing. Now we're going to need some iron and some redstone. The next step, so we'll grab a stack of each. And we put redstone on the top and the bottom. And then iron along the sides again. And that should build. Really? Could have swore that's how we built this. Oh no, it's copper, not iron. Duh. Alright, copper. Okay, so we got our APRS machine. Now to go to the next step, we need a basic circuit board, lapis, and iron. Now I don't have any lapis on me, so I'll have to go get some. We're probably only building a few machines, so I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of lapis. Lapis is one I find you don't need much of, but you need it in just about every build when it comes to this system, so... Genetic machine, alright. So now to build the sequencer, we need three glowstone, two glass, and a redstone. So we've got the redstone, we've got the glass, I could have swore that's how you built those, was just in four. Apparently not. How do you build it? Oh, you gotta use the compressor now. Oh, wonderful. Alright. And if I go back here, I should have four overclockers that I can borrow. And we can get glowstone. That's honestly kind of crappy. They make you compress glowstone in this mod. Greg Tech can be weird sometimes. Let's go ahead and just set the sequencer down right here and see if this is the one we need. So. doesn't appear so. Okay. We got the splicer, we got the sequencer, we got the gene pool. You know, I never actually looked at what a genetic machine did. Why don't we go ahead and build a genetic machine? It's not like we can't use it for something else if we find that it's not what we're looking for. Now, if you have intuitive hearing, you probably heard the uh, wonderful little um, wisp flying around. Yeah, there's been a couple wisp attacks here lately. Somebody, and I'm not sure who, filled my emblick full of magic and looks like overflowed them pretty good. So you'll see here that I'm at mid minimal now, but when I came on I was actually on high, and over there was actually extreme, and is now back to high. So. Whoever did that, I'm hoping that uh, they didn't actually mean to do that because that's um, a very dirty trick to play on somebody. 
All right, what's this guy? He doesn't actually do anything. Okay. What's left? Advanced genetic machine. Isolator. Oh, I bet you this is it. The isolator. I'll need an advanced genetic machine, so why don't we go ahead and build that. I'm going to need enhanced circuit boards for this. All right. And rupees. Or at least I like to call them rupees. We need three of those. What else are we going to need for the isolator? We're going to need four blaze rod and a redstone. Well, that stuff's easy to get. The only thing is, as far as the advanced genetic machine, we need a genetic machine which we have. We just need the enhanced circuit. We'll grab diamond now. So we have it. Why don't we go ahead and put this thing together? So, for this machine, we need gold. Okay. So we take our genetic machine, we put it here. We take our gold, put it along the edge. And then our diamond and put it up top. And then we need a medium circuit board, an enhanced circuit board. And like, unfortunately, the enhanced circuit board is not something that, uh, it's not something that we have listings for. And this is actually kind of annoying because I like to know what we're looking for here. because I've never actually had to build one of these and I'm hoping that we can figure this out alright it's none of the information that I have Okay, so I'm just trying to look up in forestry how to build the enhanced circuit board here. Oh. Alright, so let's see if we can figure this out. Because, yeah, I can't seem to find the recipe anywhere. Tried looking it up. Well, let's see what I have on me. I have copper, iron, emerald, glowstone. Um, let's grab some silver. Grab some tin. Grab some gold. Um... Might need one of these. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Might need one of these. Might need one of these. Uh, what am I missing? I have iron. I have copper. I have bronze. I have tin. I have silver. I have gold. I have redstone. I have lapis. I have diamond. I should have everything. Everything that they possibly would have made about Don's on my roof. What's he doing up there? Not sure. Oh, I'm hungry. Alright. So we're just going to head on up to the B area. See ya. 
Let me tell you, this is probably my favorite way to travel. The fact that they stack makes things so nice. Um, normally, things like that wouldn't stack, and uh, it'd be very painful because it only go ten blocks in. And I really like it that the fact that it does go further than that. Okay, so that's the squeezer. That's the centrifuge. This should be my carpenter. Yeah. I should be able to put a thing of water in there. And then... Okay, let's see here. This is the APRS data bank. I don't want that. Okay, let's try. No. There it is. We're going to go ahead and let it build a couple of these, I think. We're going to grab a couple more things of water. Because we're probably going to need them, because most of the other machines do require these. So grab two more cans of water. We'll put them in there. Here's where we bump it up a little bit. Not allow it to run even faster. Allows our bealizer, sorry, our gene pool system to run faster too. Uh, looks like we've squeezed all of our stuff and centrifuged it. That's good. All right, so we can go ahead and turn this back down and head back downstairs. It's like John's at the enchanting table. <laughs> Looks like he was uh, shooting some bad guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this last machine built, and then I think that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this is the machine we're looking for. Whoops. And if this is it, I will be very happy. Oh no, wait, this is just the advanced genetic machine. I was using it to build something. I can't remember what, and I'm off that page. He's using it to build the isolator. That's right. Let's go ahead and build that. Why don't we? I don't even know how much time is left in the episode. I'm just going by gut here at this point. And uh, so we need the advanced genetic machine. And a piece of redstone. Left all my redstone up there. Alright, so I got the isolator. Hopefully this is the right one. Yes, this is the right one. So, we now have the isolator, which will allow us to isolate the different genes. So, we'll have to go ahead and put that up. Let me see where we're at for our time. 
Oh, look at that. We still got a couple of minutes, so let me go ahead and head up there. We'll put the machine up, and I'll show you how the isolator works. As you can see, we're still experiencing some lag right in this spot. It seems to have happened ever since the server started, and I'm not sure why, so I just can't run there. We'll eat while we're waiting. It's the other nice part of a flying like this is you can just eat or, you know, place items or work on your inventory while you're waiting. Alright, so now we've got the machine we want. We have the isolator. I don't actually know if it requires... No, it doesn't. That's alright. It can go there anyway. Because the rest of the line's full anyway. So now, the first thing I want to do is I want to go over here. There's a specific B that I want to try to isolate. That's these guys. Got some Rocky drones. I'm going to try to isolate some Rocky drones. And I'm actually going to turn this up. This requires 50 MJ per tick. So here's what we got. Effect cancellation. That's actually a good start. Not quite what I was looking for, but we'll keep trying. Okay, it's starting to build MJ now. That's good. Let's see what this one gives us. Cave dwelling. There we go. Now, these are on the average quality, so we're going to have to improve them. And in order to do that, what we're going to need to do is actually build a few more machines. And if we actually go in here and we take a look, so we have our isolator. We're going to need the replicator, the purifier, and the inoculator. And uh, I believe the synthesizer. We're actually going to need all of those. They take a lot, and these were actually the phase two ones. I didn't actually need those, so we'll put those away. But yeah, these are um, basically allow you to uh, set up your guys however you want. So now, once you have, like, ooh, nocturnal, nice. Rock pollination, nice. So as you can see, we're getting some good stuff from this uh, rocky drone. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to grab I actually have stacks of them so I want Imperial drones the reason I want Imperial drones is because I want to try to get the Imperial one so that's Nocturnal it's Rock Pollination Nocturnal again okay so now, we're going to have to build another item here, which is basically just a furnace, so that we have a place to put these. Do I have a spare chest in here? No, but I do have some spare wood, so we can build a spare chest. They go over here. Build some chests. Alright, so I've got a couple of chests now. Basically, the way this is going to work, we're just going to go thump, 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 thump. And then I can go the good stuff. We'll go in here, effect cancellation, cave dwelling, nocturnal, rock pollination. Imperial Species Serum, and then no humidity tolerance, I already have effect cancellation, no temperature tolerance, I've already got that, already got this,
And so you can empty those out, and I'm actually going to show you here in a moment how to do that. And the reason for that is because you want to be able to reuse these vials. They're not cheap. Okay, we're going to do one more. So far, we're not getting anything I wanted. I was kind of hoping we'd get what we wanted. You get a, basically a random chance of getting anything this bee has. And so, unfortunately, these Imperial drones aren't that great when it comes to slowest flowering. Eh, not great. And so, these bees aren't that great at most things, but there is one thing that they are pretty decent at, and that's having babies. So, I'm hoping we get that. The system can't actually handle being that high for too long because the other side only produces about 15 right now. Uh, not getting anything good. Come on, boys. That's the thing. The item that you get is completely random. So we have no way of knowing which one we're going to get. Um, we just got to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying till we get the one we want. As you can see, we've actually already gotten a few that we wanted. Um, you'll see here we have our effect cancellation, cave dwelling, nocturnal, rock pollinating, and then I got imperial species serum, which is always pretty cool. And I have a couple more Rockies. I'll put them in there. No temperature tolerance. All right, well, while they're doing that up, why don't we go ahead and take a few of these and I'll show you how to get rid of them. So we're eventually going to have to put something up here to do this. Do I see something up there? I want to make sure that there's no monsters or something. No? Okay. So, I'll show you how to get rid of this. Alright, so we come in here, and we just go to our oven. We actually just take it and put it in the oven. It'll cook them back up into blanks. Costs a little bit of energy, but then we're not having to waste our royal pollen on stuff we don't want. Sorry, our royal, our royal honey or whatever it's called. On stuff we don't want, because there is really no point. There we go. I've gone ahead. I've cooked all those up. And you'll see here, I brought seven with me. Got seven empties back. So there you go. So that's what you do with the ones that you do not want. So I'm going to head up there. I'm going to try to get some more stuff for next time. But you guys, I want you to uh, remember that uh, if you're doing it this way, you're going to have a much easier time. Once you build the machines, which is simple enough, we're used to building machines, you can make your bees do anything. There's still going to be a little bit of breeding involved. But now that we have our royal jelly and stuff, we can pretty much breed however we want because we can build the giant apiaries. They're no longer apiaries, but um, I can't remember what they're called now. What do we got here? Default territory. Nice. I will keep default territory serum because that way I can change where they like to go. And I have no clue what default territory is, but... Eh, whatever works. So, have a good evening.